Hey, it's Anfa and it's that time again! Rusty night time! Follow me! So, I have a big announcement to make. I'm going for Patreon. You can check it out at patreon.com slash Anfa. You can support me with whatever you can support me with. That page is uh, rather bare bones right now, but I'm gonna be working on it and adding more stuff and probably also writing some blog posts because I haven't been writing a blog for a long time and I feel like it's time to get rolling with that stuff. Like, Anyway, I made this because you asked for it. I want to thank very much everyone who supports me uh, with money or with feedback to, to my work in progress tracks for the new album or with kind words or with just being a friend and helping me develop. And I also want to thank all the open source audio developers who created amazing software that we can all use to make music that we want. It's... It's just fantastic. I'm I'm so happy that I can make music and that I can, I don't know, I don't need to be rich to, to have access to the tools. You know, everybody has a computer right now. Everybody. Almost everybody. And the software is there. Like, you can just download LMMS and start making tracks. All the synths, all the effects are there. It's free. It's open source. It's pure liberty of creation. Like, this is awesome. And I want to preach that to you. That's why I'm doing this channel. And if you want that, if you want me to grow, support me on Patreon. You can help me out. Also, the second announcement is I'm going to release a new long play, a big album. Uh, here should go some sh quick mix uh, edit of, of the work in progress tracks. Boom! <laughs> Oh, a quick notice. Some of these tracks are not finished, very much not finished. They are like work in progress, mixes exported from LMS that have limiters. That's why there are these badly cut peaks because of the limiting and the red clipping marks. Uh, but the f but the first tracks are already, you know, almost done and they have uh, they're nice and dynamic. And, and the mixes are much better also. All right, this is gonna be sounding kind of like this. I hope to blow off some socks. Okay, and the third thing, um, like this video is not a tutorial, but I want to record another tutorial today. Uh, I finally feel full of energy. I can record stuff. All right, on with the knife. So, here's my lovely backpack. I used to carry my laptop everywhere I go, but not anymore. So. The new stuff I bought. Actually, I think I won't use the, the knife too much. Uh, we have a Western Digital 4 terabyte drive. Why? Well, because I've run out of backup space. I have no backups. I, f for like two years or three years, I'm doing like every two or three days, I'm doing an increment of incremental backup with RDIF backup. Sorry. Yeah, RDIF backup script. That is wonderful. I highly recommend that script if you're running Linux 
or even probably Sigwin on Windows. You can use that. It's very efficient. It's very quick. It uses R-Sync. It can do it also through the network. And it saved my life a few times. <laughs> really, it's great. Uh, all right, so that's the disk because I need to store my old projects and, you know, for every video, I'm capturing from like 10, 15 to 30, 40 gigabytes of video files that I need to store. And then the proxy adds another half of that. And, you know, the, the resulting files also aren't small because I'm capturing lots of files. And I would like to get a second camera, maybe, and put it on, on this thing here so I can have shots like this above my desk. If you recognize this shot, You've been on my Facebook page. If you haven't been on my Facebook page, check out my Facebook page. You can keep in touch and yeah, and get notifications about f new videos and music and stuff. So I would love to have a second camera mounted there, but that would also mean I need space to store the captured video files because I'm gonna be then capturing 4K video instead of 2K video because I, or maybe 3K video, I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah, because I would be capturing two full HD images from camera and one full HD image from the from the screens. And maybe I could even capture f two screens and two cameras. That would be cool. But I would need a third screen to, to view my, to see my, oh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, because I have my, you know, control screen right here. This is my main screen. Right now, it's, it's just a preview of what I'm recording. And normally, I do all my DAW work. I use Ardor here, and then I put all that stuff there. But this second screen is my control, and I, and I monitor the loudness, and I have a mixer. Here's my voice, yeah. There's the inputs, and there's the OBS, and I have some room for, for, for text notes here. Yeah, so if I had a, sec uh, a second camera, uh, you can't see this camera because I don't have a second camera to show you the camera. But it's a Logitech C920. It's pretty nice. It could be sharper. It could make sharper images a little bit. It's not like, using this, its resolution to the max, even though it has more than full HD image from it, but never mind. So if you want to help me out with getting more camera, more disk space to store the images, so I can get back and get some B-roll from previous episodes, man, if I had time to do that, anyway. So, uh, the second thing I bought is a age hard disk. What do they call it? I don't know. Tray. Yeah, it's a, it's a way to insert, to hot swap hard disks in and out of my PC very quickly. I actually wonder how does it look in real life, because all I saw was a CGI rendered image. Oh yeah, they gave me a SATA cable. SATA, SATA cable, good. Because I have just one and I, I was afraid it's gonna be too short. Ooh, this is nice, and aluminum. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of packaging stuff flying around, but that's cool, that's fun. All right, so here's your little unboxing. Lads and the la, la, la... Actually, what's... Lass and lads, lasses and lads. I don't know how to say that. Boys and girls. Hey, that that one looks nice, and it's gonna match my 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 chassis because it's it's black. Hey, the, the type of plastic used on this is even similar to my to my uh, PC chassis. I'm gonna do a little zoom, macro. Yeah. So the disc comes in here. And yeah, and I can hot swap it. And it has a fan and it has, oh, nice clicks. And it has some interface on the back. It has a buzzer, no idea why. Oh, this is the, the cooling mode. It can be high or auto. And I heard that in auto mode, this fan is making high pitched noises. We're gonna check this out. Uh, I hopefully will be able to even capture some of that buzzing noises and stuff and it, it has a buzzer why does it have a buzzer i don't know maybe to say ah oh, dude you're burning your drives what are you doing oh and i also have a bit of some keys and screws so that's nice and silica gel where's lou where's lou lou there's your silica gel for your cameraman take it so there's a set of cable that came with my motherboard i'm gonna see if this the set of cable that they gave me with this tray is longer. 
I hope it is. Yes, it is. Now, there are two of these, and there is such an excess of the cable. It's a tiny bit longer. That's good. That's all right. I'm breaking a sweat. All right, so uh, I actually have to stop capturing right now because I need to actually turn on my laptop to be able to capture the video while I disassemble my PC that is doing this recording right now. And I I have OBS installed them, but I have to cap, uh, I'll have to connect this. Oh crap. How am I gonna do this? Maybe I'll do it without plugging this PC, I don't know. Or maybe I just captured with, yeah, I've just captured some B-roll with no sound. I'm playing music under that. So, see you in a little while. It's finally working. I've had some quirks to work out. Uh, I didn't have Ethernet. These are my backup drives. Ethernet. One terabyte each. Not enough. The anti feature called Secure Boot. Took quite a while. I must say, I didn't expect that I will have some spare parts. You know, like more parts than I expected. I expected one of these and one of these, but I didn't expect to have extra this and extra this and two screws. Well, turns out uh, the dock doesn't get all the way deep into the chassis because uh, because it's quite short and the motherboard. It's just blocking it and, and there's no room. It, the hard disk tray is just too long. I didn't expect that and I had to screw it in kind of uh, not in the way it was originally intended. And that's why I got this bracket left because you now there's these holes, but none of these holes actually reach the holes on, on the drive. So now it's time to open up this and see if it works. Your boat so secure you can fucking do anything with it. Shiny. All right, let's just insert it in. Alright, so I pressed the button, the drive spinned up, the LED lit up, and I don't see the drive anywhere right now. Nothing showed up yet. Oh, it actually... No, this is not that drive. None of these is this drive. Let's, let's sort this out with terminal science. Okay. I have one drive attached, but it's not that. It's three terabyte drive. And turn it off. Turn it on again. See if the Linux kernel notices anything. Well, it doesn't look like. Maybe my kernel doesn't have hot swap support or something. I don't know. <sighs> There's SDA, SDB, and SDC, and the drive isn't there. It didn't detect. You all right, buddy? You working? You okay? Didn't say. Not a sausage. Let's see if the internet says anything about hot sweat. All 
All right, I'll try doing it without hot swapping. So I'll just uh, leave it on and reboot the machine and see what happens. All right, I'll reboot it. Uh, let's run a file manager and see if anything shows up. Not yet. Not yet either. It doesn't work. I really hope it's gonna be just working. Okay, so it actually says enclosure. It is a device. What the fuck, didn't I enter it properly or what? Okay, I'll, I take it out and see if this turns anything else. Right now I turn it off. Okay, it's still detected. Now I open up the tray. Still detected, so the drive is not freaking detected at all. Nothing. <sighs> all right, so to sum it up, <laughs> it doesn't work yet. And I'm gonna find out why, because I don't believe the hardware is the matter here. I'm gonna research this and I'm gonna find out. And that's all for today. See you next time. Bye.